What the word Simshon means, people in the river. No, we're people off the Simshon. We're people of, <clears throat> of multiple resources, and we're people that were all one. And uh, we got different tribes, different WAPs, but we're still one. Kits and Kalem are part of the Simshion Nation, and our traditional territory is of roughly about 12,756 square kilometers. This is an area that covers territory from Terrace down to Prince Rupert and across Chatham Sound down Grenville Channel, a large area of the Pacific Northwest. Now climate change is not a concept that we're dealing with for the first time. We've been dealing with it since time immemorial. The difference was that all of the observations and the stories, the traditional knowledge that was passed down from generation to generation was gathered through very careful and accurate observations of these changes. And that allowed us to start modifying and changing the ways in which we did things. And it allowed us to adapt. The problem now is that these changes are happening so fast that we can't, we can't keep up. Our caribou have been replaced by moose. The mountain goats are no longer there. They're dwindling in, in, in number and the salmon runs are starting to fail. Our fish are coming back and they're smaller. So four-year-old fish look more like three-year-olds. And this is not just in salmon, but it's also happening in herring. Our harvest for kelp are not happening either. The seaweed is failing or it's happening earlier. The clams and the cockles are dwindling on the beaches. We don't exactly know why. It could be due to ocean acidification. These changes are happening very, very quickly. Climate change is real and climate change is happening. And it's interfering with food security. And for this reason, I have decided to turn the entire workload of the Fish and Wildlife Operations Department for Kitsum-Kalem into studying the effects of climate change and the threats that that poses into food security. So everything that we do is tied to climate change and tied to food security. Climate change is, is for us, it's so, it's heartbreaking. It's, it, it's, it, it has the potential of robbing our future generations and our generations who are here today of knowing our people's way of life and where our language comes from and our spiritual beliefs. I'm the seven, eight, and nine classroom teacher here at Naxagilikia. I've been so excited to be working on this amazing climate change documentary with the Kids and Kalem Fisheries Department. I'm so proud of all of the science and combination of traditional knowledge that's been shared on this project. Our students have been working hard on their own personal climate change projects. They've had a chance to talk to their elders, to their family members, to community members about things and questions that they have about climate change on this local territory. Um, the other amazing part of this project is through this is that our students are able to use Western science and, and use that in their projects with that traditional knowledge. How important is it passed on traditional knowledge? If traditional knowledge wasn't passed on, we're gone, we're ended. <laughs>